Hey, what's up guys? This is Gary coming back to you here from the Ramsey Custom Shop and just wanted to talk to you a little bit about these. If you're not interested in buying uh, any of these, um, then you can click off the video because the rest of it's going to be to anyone that is interested in buying it and talking about the options and pricing and so forth. Uh, as you saw, I built two different ones, one with a square top and bare metal and this one I painted white and just made a round top. I'm not a woodworker, so <clears throat> the guys out there who do the fine woodworking could do something really cool with these. So anyway, um, I'm going to be selling these uh, as a kit and uh, also the plan. So if you already have a CNC plasma table and you just want the CAD files to cut your own, then I have those available on my website, a link in the description of the video. It's just at RamseyCustoms.com. And as soon as you get there, you'll see the link to these. But the plans, the CAD files, um, and some specs on fasteners and spacers, things like that, will be uh, included in the plans, and it's $8 for that. If you want the kit, what you're going to get in the kit is... Um, you're going to get four sets of the side plates you're going to get the uh, leveling feet and you're going to get the pads for the leveling feet and those have to be welded in so um again this is a this is a diy kit so assuming that you need to do a little bit of welding it, it's not you know incredibly uh difficult you saw some of it in the video those just have to be welded to the spacers what is not included are the bolts or the spacers. There's so many different options available to you uh, and the pricing varies all over the place. And I was just afraid that whatever I included, someone may not like it. And it's not that big of a deal to get your own. Um, the, the holes in it are a clearance hole for quarter inch bolts. So these are quarter 20 bolts that are two inches wide on this one. And then these just have some uh, threaded rods that I cut down and some spacers. These spacers here are ones that I got from Home Depot and cut those down to size. It's just tubing from the steel rack in Home Depot. I think I paid about 12 bucks for those. And then these are actually brake lines, um, which I paid about $6 for. And you need somewhere around five or six feet total. There's 36 total spacers and bolts that you need. Uh, for for this configuration so um, you know you can buy pre-made <clears throat> pre spacers so when you buy the kit or the plans I'm going to include links to pre-made spacers a couple of different options for you and um, you know you you could uh, you could cut square tubing some half inch square tubing and make spacers out of that you could actually do dowels if you wanted to get some dowels drill holes through them on a lathe if you have one um, and then stain those to match the top that might look kind of cool especially on the bare metal one you know and have a dark top on it so just a lot of different options i think this is a cool table the other thing i didn't mention is if you buy the plans you're going to get also a set of plans for a very large uh version of this that could be used as a full dining table and i didn't make one uh and i'm not going to make a kit on it because uh, it's very, very large. These pieces end up being very large. And, you know, that kit would probably be in the five to $600 range. Shipping would have to go on a pallet and would end up being, you know, $100, $200 for that. So it just, you know, I just thought if somebody wanted that, uh, I would include the, the plans. The designs is similar. Um, the top parts of it arch out further. You'll see I'm overlaying a, a screenshot of the plans for the, the dining, but I'll include that. So you'll get two sets of plans, um, CAD files that you can cut. So yeah, anyway, just wanna clarify, if you buy the kit, it's not gonna come with the spacers and bolts, but you will get links to where to purchase those. Your cheapest options are gonna be one of two things. One is if you can cut these down, the brake lines, uh, these are just three eighths, regular brake lines, go to O'Reilly. I think it's about six bucks to get enough to do that with. Um, and if you want to buy something pre-made and go on the cheap side, roll pins are available for about 30 uh, something cents a piece. And if you want to buy just a regular steel pre-made spacer, a real spacer, they're over a dollar a piece. So, you know, you're up at $36. A lot of guys have just random things laying around the shop, you know, a lot of bolts and things that they could use. So 
you know, why would I order in bolts and then put a markup on it and have to package it? And, and it may not be the ones that you want. So I just decided to do the kit without those. So go check it out. Link in the description, RamseyCustoms.com. You'll see the information there. And um, also, if you if you buy the kits, you know, it's probably going to be a week or two on that. I want to let a few orders come in so that I can do it in a more production way. Um, so a couple of weeks on the kits, you know, if you place an order to allow time for that. And if you order the plans, you'll receive an email with the uh, with all the cat a link to the CAD files and the specifications and all within 24 hours and when you make the purchase. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Oh, one other thing people ask me about is, you know, are, are these strong? You know, what what kind of weight can these support? I get asked that on all all my other uh, anything. You know, my other table kit specifically. And uh, this one was the very first one I made. And I had to adjust the CAD files on it because the slots that allow the two pieces to overlay together were too tight. I got it about halfway down and had to put it in the press to press it the rest of the way in. And it took all 20 tons of that Harbor Freight uh, press to press that together. And obviously that's not going to come apart now. When I made this one, you know, the reason I made the second one was to, to solve that problem. And this one slid right together, no problem at all. Um, even with it painted, it didn't scratch the paint. You know, there's plenty of room in there. And there isn't anything that attaches those two pieces together, except for the bolts that go into the top, you know, and those hold the two, hold it all together and keep it uh, strong and stable. So I'm gonna say this is a 20 ton rated little end table here. Thanks, guys. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, be sure to check the center of the screen for two playlists that I've created. One that shows the metal art projects and other projects that we've completed, and the other showing educational videos on how to use a CNC plasma table.